responses out. We, we had a quick question here. So, so, uh, so Paul has been with us. Paul, welcome back. Uh, Paul has been with us on a bunch of shows. Um, so I'm going to, uh, um, let me read his question first. And before we, we talk, I want to kind of make a clarification. So his question is, so if Hawaiians refuse to build a significant number of units, what in the name of flippity flip causes inventory to rise? Great question. So Paul, quick clarification. So there's, and this is a, like a little uh, sort of a cultural tip for everybody. Uh, when, when you're talking about people that live in Hawaii, Hawaii residents, we do not use the term Hawaiians, even though it's normally the case. If you're, if you live in California, you're a Californian. And if you live in Chicago, you're a Chicagoan. And if you live in New York, you're a New Yorker. But if you live in Hawaii, you're not a Hawaiian. You are a Hawaii resident, or I use the term Islander. You're a Hawaii Islander. But the term Hawaiian always means if you're referring to a person, when you talk about Hawaiians, you're always referring to a native Hawaiian. Uh, Native American, you know, a Native Hawaiian, not a person that lives in Hawaii. So clarification, Paul, in case you use that in, in the future, uh, just something to, to, to think about. Okay. So in the, if Hawaiians refuse to build a segment, what in the, well, what does cause them to rise? Nothing except people leaving it. I mean, if you, th 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 this, it's almost like fixed inventory. It's kind of like, you know, it's like Bitcoin, you know, price keeps going up because, you know, after a while, you know, there'll be no more Bitcoins being produced and that's going to be the end of it. So uh, the laws of economics kind of state what they state. Look, you could draw a direct line. Back in the 70s, there was a dramatic shift in the in the housing uh, regulations. Uh, in the 70s, a lot of legislation popped out because people saw homes going up over everywhere. Uh, and they all said, OK, this has got to stop. And it did. And the price have gone up uh, significantly. Anybody want to anybody uh, want to add their response to that? Let's go counterclockwise. If there's anything you want to add, uh, Heidi, you go first, then Scott, then then Dylan on this on uh, Paul's topic. Well, as realtors, when we're talking about inventory, that's just the number of units for sale at any particular time. So if five people list their house in the neighborhood, we have inventory has increased. We have five new houses to sell. Um, but you're completely right. I mean, the overall inventory is not growing. I mean, unless there's new building and new development, which is... I mean, I believe slowly over time will increase, but especially on Maui, it is very, it's a very, very slow process and land is limited and the amount of land that's actually zoned for development is limited. Um, so it's not like the Midwest where there's just, you know, acres of cornfields that you can build houses on outside the perimeter where that's right. And nobody wants and nobody wants development in, in Hawaii. We don't want it, but we want a price to go down. Scott, you want to add Scott and then Dylan, you, anything you want to add to, uh, to Paul's question? Yeah, I mean, um, price is going up to a, it. It's going to be an affordability thing at some point or a larger economic catastrophe in some kind of way, major shift economically, like a pandemic or something that might might happen. <laughs> but um, that didn't, yeah. the pandemic didn't do anything. It made I, prices worse. But anyway. I know it went the other direction. That's why it's like, oh, who knows? But um, yeah, I mean, affordability comes into play. So as prices keep going up, at some point you start to hit a ceiling, you start to lose people who can't afford that. Or as interest rates go up because people buy in a monthly payment, most people. So the same thing starts to happen and happen. So you start to lose the demand. And once you start to lose the demand side, because we don't increase the supply side enough here, at least on Oahu and pretty much throughout the Hawaiian Islands and we're limited in land, then then those two should start to balance out. If you start to have a, a bigger shift economically, then you may have more sellers come on the market at that point. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a uh, it's going to be interesting. I, I don't you know, obviously this can't go on forever, but it's. <laughs> It hasn't doesn't show any signs signs of stopping. Dylan, is thing you want to add to this topic? I was going to add a little bit more cultural context to, to the to the um, to your comment about you know classification of Hawaiians, and I, and I know that probably wasn't meant that way in terms of Native Hawaiians. It was more meant towards residents of Hawaii. But in in you know in my opinion, there is a significant amount of outsiders that buy here and then oppose new housing, right? So that's something to be to me culturally aware of and sensitive to is if, if you do buy here and you come here, I mean, we're not opposed to people coming here, but don't come here and then want to close the door behind you, right? Because that that is a, a big part of it is those people get politically involved. They have time because they're, they're uh, retired, you know, and they want to preserve the island. And I get that. That's a, that's a, that's a, uh, a worthy cause, but um, 
you're definitely contributing to the problem when, when you have that attitude. And there's a lot of people that have that attitude when they get here. I believe you called that last howl off the boat syndrome, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I, can't re I couldn't recall if I, if I had uh, shared that term or not, but yes, that is the scientific term. I, I, I made a video about this. I made a video about it and, and I, I posted it on the Living in, in Hawaii channel, which is the, I, and the title was, you know, the worst kind of resident. And the worst kind of resident is <laughs> the one that moves over here and says, hey, now that I've moved over here, nobody else can, can come in because I've, I've got my piece. Uh, yes. So no, no more homes after mine gets built. Uh, so, yeah, thank you, Dylan, for, for sharing that.